So here is the quiz. We're going to answer this quiz that I gave about four days ago. Um, some students send me some answers, and uh, a lot of them got the two cos squared x minus one, what it equals. But finding angle x in general form, um, not a lot of students got that one. So the first thing we want to do with this one here, definitely this is the difference of squares right here. So I'm going to factor this as cos squared x minus sine squared x and cos squared x plus sine squared x equals one. Make sure you put that in brackets. Now, from the, your identity sheet, cos squared plus sine squared equals one. So that's one. You, didn't, you don't need that anymore. So now you have the cos squared x minus sine squared x equals one. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the sine squared x to one minus cos squared x equals one. Now, this negative is a sign changer, so that becomes negative one, that becomes plus cos squared x, which will give me two cos squared x minus one equals one, and therefore the answer for the first one was one. Now how we find x? To find x, you need to solve this for cos. So therefore, two cos squared x equals two. You move the negative one to the other side, you add it to both sides, so plus two, divide both sides by two, you get cos squared x equals one, and therefore cos x equals plus or minus one, and therefore x is one in here and negative one right there, and that will keep on repeating. So the, answer will, the answers will repeat every pi because between negative between pi over two to three pi over two, there's a pi and this wave will continue. So the answer will repeat every pi and therefore this answer would be pi over two plus n pi where n is a member of all integers. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.